Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Can you say lots of curls? This is Click Click Flash by Raquel Welch in the color Shaded Ice Cafe Latte. Click Click Flash was provided uh, by Wig Studio One so I could review it for the Wig Studio One YouTube channel and I chose to review it for all of you on my channel. All that Wig Studio wants me to do is tell you about the permities, tell you about the density, show you the cap, and tell you uh, how the fit is, talk about the color. That is all I am obligated to do. I am not obligated to say, I like this or I don't like this, nothing along those lines. And I am certainly not obligated to show it on my channel. Uh, some wigs I receive and I don't show them on my channel and I only provide the review for Wig Studio One and that is entirely my choice. But I, you know, I wasn't going to review Click Click Flash for my channel. I, I just unboxed it for uh, Wig Studio One. So if you want to see the unboxing, head on over to the Wig Studio One YouTube channel. It'll probably be up there like within the next week. I decided to wear it for a little while just to see how I felt. So I've been wearing it like for the last hour. And I think it is really cute. I think it is fun. If you love curls, the curls start right at the root, which is a little bit unusual. Usually they start a little bit further down. Now, I'm going to tell you, I reviewed Amber Rock, which was not my favorite. I recorded the review for Storyville by Ellen Villa. That was not really my favorite either. But this one, I really like. This, I think... I love the curl pattern. I love the way they start at the base. Now this does not have a monofilament. We have a lace front, which is done beautifully as we have on all Raquel Welch. We have great coverage. Here is the ear tab and a little bit of my hair peeking through. For those of you that are new to my channel, I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. I am wearing a wig cap and a wig grip, and it fits me perfectly. I believe it, it runs a true average. Let me show it to you on all sides. I do have some clips because I didn't like it in my face, but I'll take the clips down so you can see it. I watched a um, unboxing of this style that Frank Campanella did on on the on the hair you wear channel and one of the things that he said and I totally agreed with him is that this is not a style that you can wear straight out of the box you have to do you you do have to work with it there's a downfall to that because if you are new to wigs you may not be able to really gauge if you like it or not and if you play around with it if you disturb anything, you add products, you change it in any way, then you can't exchange it, you can't return it. If you wear wigs for a certain amount of time, you can pretty much take out a wig, put it on your head, and know without doing anything to it, you'll know, is this something that I like? Is this something that I can work with? So uh, something for you to keep in mind. This is not out of... Out of out of the box, I wouldn't be, have been able to wear it. And you could see that unboxing, as I mentioned, on the Wig Studio One channel. I will tell you that what I did do is something that Frank, who is the designer, suggested, and that is taking the Restore from Hair You Wear, and I added a little bit just to kind of loosen and separate these curls a little bit. That's really all I did to it. You could also take some of the curl from Hair You Wear and apply a little bit and just scrunch it up. Now, while it does seem as an awful lot of hair, we do have a high density here. Click, click, flash weighs 6.4 ounces. So we do have a good amount of hair. However, if you are used to curly hair, this is not going to be an abundance for you. You're gonna say, okay, this is what my hair look like. Uh, you can press it a little bit to get it so it doesn't look so wild, or you can make it look wild. What I will recommend that if you get this style, only use a wide tooth comb. It doesn't matter which one, but use a wide tooth comb. If you use a fine tooth comb, 
or you use a brush, you're gonna it's gonna frizz. Somebody um, that Frank had on his uh, live said that you can make it look a little bit frizzy because usually curly hair. Now I don't have naturally curly hair, but they were saying that naturally curly hair tends to have a little bit of frizz. So they did frizz it a little bit, which is fine if that's the look you're going for. Uh, I personally like it this way. I think that I would like it just a little bit looser. And to wash these, it's best to, they were saying it's best to do a cold soak and then take it out, shake it, hang it up to dry. And you can use the wide tooth comb and just not run it all the way through, but kind of from the root. All right, let me take out this clip so you could see it without the clips. I just like it like this without it being so much in my face. But I want you to see what it looks like. So you see, you it does. there is a lot of hair here. So I just thought that I love these curls right here on the side. This is um, a basic cap with a pretty wide, about an inch and a half of a lace front. I like it like this. See, I can wear this. So you could either leave it clipped up on one side or the way I had it was clipped on both sides. Let me tell you a little bit um, more about it. I've got my notes here. We have a 12 inch front. If you, the way it's measured, if you take these curls and you pull it all the way down, it's gonna be about 12 inches, obviously. With the curls, it's not gonna be 12 inches. The crown is also 12 inches. The sides in the back are 11 inches. And as I mentioned, it does weigh 6.4 ounces. Because we have a, a basic cap, we're going to have some permatease. I don't feel as if there's an abundance over the top amount of permatease. It does have permatease. We have a basic cap, so we need to, those wefts need to be covered. Also, in a style like this, we're going to need permatease in order to give this form, basically the foundation for the style. We also have a high density. We have a lot of curls here. I don't feel it heavy. And would I wear this? Yes, I would absolutely wear it. However, if you have someone that is, you have some hair loss, you, you've you had thinning hair for a long, long time, this may feel like it's way too much hair, especially if you've never had curly hair. Would I have worn this at the beginning of my, when I started wearing wigs? Probably not. This is very different. I, I've always, you know, I've straightened my hair. I've I usually wear straight styles as you as you probably know but I think this is really pretty I think it's lots of fun and yes I will absolutely be wearing this one out of all of the curly ones that I have tried this has got to be I think the prettiest one and uh, I think I yeah I did I reviewed for you amber rock I have it in cola with cherry and I have it in sangria I prefer click click flash over the bell tress. Uh, there was something about the bell tress after trying this one that I'll say, okay, I prefer this one. It's, I think it's beautiful. These are heat friendly fibers. These are true to life. So in order to maintain the curls, you could just steam it and then take the net and wrap it around it just so you can maintain the curls. Can you straighten it? Yes, you can straighten it. However, once you straighten it, it'll be very difficult to get these curls back. There are other styles that are similar and a little straighter or maybe with a different curl pattern from Ra Raquel Welch or many other different brands that you can certainly try and you don't have to straighten this. This is really for someone who wants to have the curls. If you want a very curly style, this will be perfect for you. The color that I have my click click flash, this is RL924 SS. That is Raquel Welch or Hair You Wear describes uh, a shaded ice cafe latte as a dark brown, which is your nine, with golden brown. I don't see this as a golden brown at all. 
to me, that 24 is a dark blonde. That's how I see that. You let me know in the comments what you think. But that looks like a a, a, uh, a dark blonde. And so you have some of that dark blonde going through. This is a cool color. It's from the Ice Collection. Any of the colors from the Ice Collection are going to be cool. So if you like a cool brunette, if you like uh, 10RH16 Almadine from John Renault, you will really like this color. If you like shaded cappuccino, you want something a little bit darker. This will be a little bit darker. Just one step shaded cappuccino is RL1222 SS. This is RL924 SS, so just a little bit darker, but the highlights are a little bit lighter on shaded ice cafe latte than what we find on shaded cappuccino. But Overall, I think it's a really, really pretty color for all my brunette friends that want a, a brunette that's cool, but you don't want it too dark, you don't want it too light. I think it's just the perfect, perfect color and just a little bit of highlights. I have quite a few in this color and I think it's just beautiful. Okay, we have a nice wide lace front, but as you can see, it's a open uh, it's a wefted cap. It's a machine-made cap. The lace goes right to the ear tabs, felt-covered ear tabs. We have an extended nape with Velcro adjusters and the Memory 3 cap with plenty of stretch to it. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. Please let me know what you think about Click Click Flash. I would love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think. Is it too much curls? Is it too much hair? Remember, I'm not the designer. I'm not the creator. I'm not going to be offended if you don't like it. I personally like it. <laughs> let me know your thoughts. Uh, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.